Alright guys, today I've got a little update video here for you. This is going to be on this device right here, which is the uh, NVIDIA Tegra Note 7. And I'm going to show you my uh, super tool that I have for this. You've probably seen a video for it already. This is going to be the update video because um, I've updated the tool and this device is now has KitKat running on it, which is really, really cool. So I'm actually going to show you that really quick. We're going to go into settings. And I'll just show you that we have right here Android 4.4.2 on the device so very very cool very very neat definitely lo loving that really happy that uh, Nvidia has updated us to KitKat on this device so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how this super tool works it's very cool so let's check it out over here on the computer so the com these are this is the file you're gonna have but basically what it's gonna look like when you download it and I'll give you links to it it's gonna look like let's see if I can show it to you here like this right here this file so you're just going to extract it. Once you extract it, it's going to look just like these, just like this information right here. So pretty, pretty simple. Um, and then all you got to do is go ahead and hit the one start super tool 2.0 bat. 2.0 is for KitKat. It's got some information on it. Um, and then it actually checks right here to see if your device is working and the drivers are working right now, which is kind of neat. Um, you can see there's nothing listed right there. But there is a uh, good reason for that, and I will show you that. So here's a tool set up, but we actually got to get ADB turned on on the device. So to do that, go back into settings, about tablet, and uh, tap on the build number. It's about seven to ten times. Now go back. You should have developer options now, and you're good here. They're turned on. And you just want to turn on USB debugging right there, and there you go. And it says right here. Um, allow this computer you want to check that and hit OK and that's gonna mean that you're gonna be ready to start uh, getting your drivers installed and everything for functioning correctly so if you want to do this we'll just close this out just so you can see the beginning again we'll run it again and this time when it has list of devices attached you should see a number there it is and a device that means your drivers are actually functioning correctly but we're also gonna do some driver install and test stuff as I'll show you with this tool so first thing you really want to do in here, which I probably should reorder this, but you want to go ahead and click on number seven. So click seven on your keyboard and then hit enter. And if you don't have your drivers installed, you want to pick option one, impact your driver install and follow the commands through there. But since I've already got mine installed, I'm just going to show you how to test them. So we'll test with two. So hit two. And just basically says press any key to uh, test this. So we'll hit the space bar. And it tells you if you have list of attached devices and its number, that means your drivers for uh, ADB are functioning correctly. We'll hit it again. And now it's going to say press any key to test fastboot drivers. You can see the device booted into fastboot mode. And then we're going to press another key here. And it should check fastboot. And there you go. There is a number again with fastboot. That means, again, fastboot drivers are installed correctly press any key to reboot the device and it should boot back up and then you can hit enter to restart the tool um, very very simple not hard to do um, and that just proved that your drivers are functioning you can see it doesn't say they're attached right here but it's just because you're in reboot if the device was booted up it would say that right there in the tool and we're booting up so what I'm going to show you guys is obviously the unlock bootloader feature you're going to have to do that first and then you can run through it before you can do any of these features because they all require unlock bootloader um, if you want to see how to do that, my last video I think shows how to do that feature. Um, all I'm going to really show you guys in here is obviously the drivers because that's new. I'll show you how to root the device and I'll also show you um, probably how to do this restore. So we'll go ahead and do the restore. Right now you can see I have an app on here like uh, ES File Browser. Don't know if I have anything else really specific. Super Sue, uh, Quick Boot. That's what's on there right now. So if we go to this restore, so we'll hit option two. And it says basically you have to get your device in fast boot mode. So it tells you how to do it manually, and this is how you do it. You power off the device. Power off. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to unplug my cable just because it's not good to have it on there when you're doing this. Because it sometimes will put you into a reboot or something like that. Um, as soon as the device powers off, 
What you're going to do is you're going to hold the volume up button, and then you're going to hold the power button, and you should get your bootloader screen, which is right there. As soon as you do the screen, scroll down with volume, fast boot protocol, and then hit power, and that's going to put this device into fast boot protocol. Now go ahead and plug in your cable. This is the tricky part here. There we go. And everything should be connected and we can run our restore tool. So it basically just says on the tool to uh, press any key to continue or space bar. It does show you that your drivers are working correctly right here right off the get-go and then it reports back with this uh, target size and then it races system and it's sending system. So basically what this restore does is it sends your uh, KitKat system it sends your KitKat boot image and it sets, sends stock KitKat recovery and then it asks you to if you want to wipe data or if you want to not wipe data um, I don't know how the not wipe data really functions for you um, if it works or not I will rephrase this you may have to wipe data in stock recovery anyway so I leave it in there if you want to try to get away with just doing a restore and not actually wiping out your data you might be able to get the thing to boot or you might have to go into stock recovery and do a restore that way um, but the options there so you can do what you want to do with it and you can see we're actually sending and writing it sends uh, system twice there's two different files just because the files are so big they break it into two sends and two writes but this whole process only takes about a couple minutes it's really not not that hard S systems the biggest file to write so here you go you just wrote the first system to it and then it's sending the second system and then the next one will take about seven seconds and it'll write the second piece of system and then it'll move fast here so boot recovery and you're down to the next option so I would recommend doing this um, wipe data factor reset option one or you can just reboot the device and see how lucky you get and see if you can save your data um, but we're gonna go ahead and hit wipe so hit one and enter and it's erasing user data it's going to erase user data it's going to waste erase cache partition it's going to rebuild them and it'll wrap up the uh, flash process or the restore process i should say so there you go you can see it's going it's creating everything sending user data writing user data and running through the script all right there we go just about done and basically pressing the key to reboot the device so again hit spacebar device is rebooting you can hit enter and the utility will restart so there you go that's going to be a full restore on your tegra note uh, 7 and that's restoring you to kitkat 4.4.2 very simple technically you could probably even use this to do an update um, except for you will probably lose data like i said you could could just try flashing the system you know and not doing the wipe at the end but it's kind of up to you what you want to try. Just be prepared to, you know, do the full wipe and rerun the tool to, you know, maybe getting booting if it doesn't, if it doesn't like, you know, not wiping data out. So there you go. That's going to boot up. First boot updates take a little bit. While that's running, um, let's go ahead and check this out. So you can also flash stock recovery if you just want to flash stock recovery, uh, which would be like something, for example, if you flash clockwork mod recovery and there comes out another update the new android version whatever it might be you can always uh, flash stock recovery back without doing a full restore and probably take the ota update so that's cool uh, that's why i put it in there um, i actually used that when i took this ota update this is new um, and then flash recovery just flashes it to the recovery partition and you'll get clockwork mod recovery you've seen that probably in my last video also and then root, um, root what it does now, before I think it flashed recovery and then rooted, it does the same thing, but it doesn't flash recovery permanently. So I'm just gonna quick go through this really quick. You can see that I've got, you know, all, all this stuff on here. Skip right through it really fast. This is the initial setup. And boom, you're restored. Um, to do recovery, if you want that or root, you're gonna have to go ahead and go in here back to about tablet. Um, tap on the build number again turn on USB debugging right there and right there hit OK and it's probably gonna ask you that permissions thing again on your screen but let's try this so let's go ahead and do a root so we'll hit 6 press any key to continue 
And I may have to close the utility because it's probably not going to do it until I get that permissions folder. So we'll restart the utility and it'll ask me then that way. So we'll close this out, restart the tool. Should ask me for permission now if I do this. Let's see if I get it, get the uh, permission screen to pop up for me. Hmm, it's not doing it. So the way to fix that normally is go to settings, developer options. Turn it off, turn it back on, say OK, check the box again, say OK, and then there it is, OK, and you can see now we have, uh, it should work now, so we'll go to 6, we'll go ahead and do the root process, talks about description, basically press any key to continue, and it just sent SuperSue over, again continue, and it's going to reboot the device, and this is temporarily booting clock work mod recovery is what it's going to do. It's very temp boot. Um, and it will not be permanent, but you'll be able to flash root from this recovery screen. So, unfortunately, recovery is upside down. It's a tweak we haven't figured out yet, so you're going to have to kind of watch it upside down. But it talks about the instructions in the command window over there. So you're just going to go down to installs, hit, hit power, install, choose zip from SD, hit power, zero folder, power, Volume down, volume down, download, power. There's Super Sue. It gets flashed to your device and placed there in the in the script. Hit enter. Say yes to flash it. Hit enter or power, whatever, and it flashes. Shabam. Very simple. You can go to go back a screen, and then reboot system now, and voila. That's it. Device should root, uh, reboot back up, and you will have uh, root access on your device. So we can hit push any key to exit the utility, and it reboots the utility again. That's basically how you do it. Everything is walked right through. Um, root, installing permanent clockwork mod recovery, restore. It talks about it and walks you through every step of the tool. So hope you guys like this video um, on restoring KitKat on the Tegra Note 7, getting root access. I won't show you all the tool because it's a long process, but um, it's very simple. It walks you right through it. Right there is Super Sue. And there you go. You have root access, and you are good to go on your device, restored or technically slash updated if you want to use it in that way. So catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.